Welcome back to Transformational Media. I'm lucky to be here with Peter McGuigan. He's a writer and author, and he just gave uh, a keynote speak uh, at the conference. Uh, Peter, can, can you tell us about this consciousness movement uh, you were talking about? Well, you know, I think it's the largest social movement in the history of the world. And when we look at it, we can see it in, in even the migration toward holistic health care, toward looking for healthier, more sustainable solutions. And uh, it's the big story right now, I think. And uh, I think there's a hunger in our hearts. We've fallen out of love with bigness. I ask audiences around the world, how many of you believe that big business and big government is going to take care of quality of life in your community? And not one hand goes up. And yet, we're still sort of passively playing the bigness game and thinking or, you know, serving at that level, rather than, you know, I think the shift is waking up and realizing that everything that we need to create sustainable, happy, creative communities where our young people can grow up and find something that they can offer to that local community. We have everything that we need right there. We just need to nurture it and care about it and in some ways just regain consciousness about what really creates sustainable happiness. And what do you say or how do you react when people bring cynicism and hard realities uh, of our world and say we have a crisis and, and uh, we don't have time for, for this uh, blue sky thinking? You know that's in the media, uh, a lot of darkness. We hear a lot of transformational media about not enough positive news. So how do you uh, reply to this? Well, um, I understand why they would say that. And, and in many ways, I do agree that we're in a crisis because people need to believe in something. We need to put our faith and our belief in something, and we need to invest in something that we feel is worthwhile. And uh, with the collapse that's going on, you know, the ingredients of sustainability are trust and confidence and community and caring and, and a sense that what we're doing has goodness at its heart. And there is a crisis. And um, so if somebody is cynical, I just realize that that's where they are. And the very fact that they're asking the question of me indicates a readiness and that they're seeking too. We're all seeking. All right, fantastic. Peter. Can you maybe tell, uh, give us a website where people can learn more about this? Yes, my website is ConsciousWorldSummit.com. Conscious worldsummit.com. There are amazing films there. It's a membership community because we need to fund it somehow still. And we're, we have a foundation that supports us. And with one more foundation, we will be able to give it all away. And I'm hoping that happens soon. Um, they're beautiful films. We're producing films about communities of happiness and how they're doing it. What are the energy ingredients for sustainable happiness? Um, I love finding people in communities who step forward to be the solution. Let me give your audience one, one clue. Um, prosperity, uh, cash flow, love, appreciation flow to people who see the problem and step forward to be the solution. And most of us just complain about the problem. But it's the people who step forward to be the solution and to go outside their community and see where are the solutions for this problem. How has it worked in other places? And then bring that home. And that's what our film festivals, Conscious World Film Festivals, are about. It's about see it, breathe it, bring it home. Because there are great solutions out there. And what we're doing is gathering them and sharing them in the books and the films. Thank you, Peter. So, yes, you can see there's a lot of things to, to look at at this uh, link. And there's a film festival tomorrow night in London. You'll find all the information under this video. So it's Mark for Vision on TV. Thank you for watching.